So we're back with a brand new product. This is a company that we ran into during CES and they wanted to send this to us so we can check this out with our daughter. This is called Pixicade, uh, our Pixicade. These are specifically a really cool tool to teach your child some of the fundamentals of design, storytelling, and video games. What you do with this is you actually draw and plan out figures and things for a game, then you use your tablet and the app to take pictures of the item and incorporate it into a journey. Let's open this up and talk a little bit more about this. I will specifically say it's designed to be playable with um, 10 year olds on their own, but we can do this with a six year old for sure, as long as you're there to help them to understand what they're doing as they're going through it. So this right here is the draw your own game kind of booklet. It comes with 10 markers and an activation code. Let's open this up. There we go. So the thing comes with a little card with uh, two codes on it, which is really nice. Uh, that way you can load it onto two different tablets if you have to. And then the codes have to be activated once at a time though, and they can only be active on one device at a time. So you've got uh, five little crayons, green, black, blue, looks like a pinkish, and then a red. And then you have these boards here and say, let's make games. So it's got a little bit of an instruction here of trying it. So um, you draw, you snap, and you play. It says, click to create a button in the app. Select, get the goals game. Um, create from photo to open up the camera. Went up the camera, and then you basically take the picture. So as I suggest on this, uh, when you're drawing, black represents the environment. Any lines you draw in black is be viewed as such. Green represents avatars, characters that you play with. Red is hazard, things that are hurtful to the characters. Um, blue are goals, things you have to reach for. And purple are movable, uh, that can be pushed by and moved by the avatar. Then you have a space here where you can draw your game and take a picture of it. And it kind of has information. Green moves. So you get jumps. Avoid, collect, move. Uh, I guess some really good pointers here. Uh, for one, make sure you size the characters correctly for the avatar to be able to engage. Um, don't let the colors touch as you're drawing because that tells different items to worry about. Uh, don't over inundate your thing with objects because it makes the games too hard for you. Make sure that you design a goal that you can actually achieve in the game. Um, make sure you put ground for them because if you don't put things below, they'll just fall. Um, and then also when you're drawing your avatar, make sure your avatar is solid. So it's got this picture here that you can look at uh, and it has suggestions of what you can do to actually change it. In the app, you can actually use power ups and edits, uh, for instance, to shrink, adjust, move things around the board, uh, and then change settings from one color to the other so they can basically be inactive. Say for instance, you wanted to be able to move the um, doghouse, you can actually just change that color in the app and make it a movable item as opposed to a, um, like boundary for the environment, which is really cool. This one is talking all about your avatars, drawing them and putting them into the game. They use this as a map for that, which is really cool. So all in all, this is really taking you through what like your goals are, giving you some pre-designed characters or things to run with, uh, also that you can create your own kind of stories. Then we got mechanics, game type. At the end of the day, this game has over a hundred pages 
of guides of how to draw what you need to draw. It comes with the markers. It comes with the lifetime access to the Pixicade Plus game um, on the app. Two codes you can use it with siblings. And you don't actually have to use this guide as where your draw points are. You can just draw it over the piece of paper. The importance is when you understand the colors of the pens mean things, how to adjust it in the app, then you're going to start seeing some real changes. So what we're going to do is we're take this, we're going to show you what it looks like um, when we make a couple little games with my daughter, and then we'll be right back. Hopefully you guys found that interesting. Hopefully you guys picked this up for the kid in your life. It's a really cool tool, especially if they're really into making video games or playing video games. This is gonna be a great way to get them to be a little bit extra creative. And it's just a really good tool for teaching them some basic concepts of game design, story, obstacles, and the like. Um, again, it's great for players 10 and up, but if you want to work with your kid, you can serve this as early as six. Hope you guys like this. Hope you guys pick this up for yourself, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.